Hey, everybody. Well, that's crazy. I can't believe you guys have been waiting for an hour. Um, wow, I had no idea that this wasn't live. I am so sorry. I wish you all had commented. Um, I wish you all had known to comment. <laughs> I feel so embarrassed. I've been talking to myself for the last hour and nobody can hear me. And we've built some really cool stuff. So apologies, you haven't been with us. Um, I'm excited to show you where we're at, what we're doing, and <laughs> I am dead. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that's the case. Well, it's on my side, it said there's been six people here this entire time. Um, and so I just assumed y'all were here and I was like, oh, it's just a chill night. But um, great to have you all. So thank you guys for so much for stopping in, staying around. And let's go ahead and kind of maybe start by telling you where we're at. So first things first, we are building Flower Picker. And Flower Picker is my entry into the um, competition. But, but I got to tell you, by live streaming this, I've actually probably disqualified myself. So don't be live streaming your competition. Uh, it says not to publicly display before the competition starts. So, hey. But I really thought it would be valuable to show you kind of my thoughts and process going in and unlock some and maybe unblock some things that maybe are blocking you from building your first world. I am trying to keep this relatively simple. So I apologize that we've missed um, some of the <laughs> beginning of this uh, story, but I do appreciate you guys coming in now as we are here. And we've just built one of the first elements of this script. So um, it's really exciting, very cool. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this over into the text slot. So basically, I'm just referencing this last object variable. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you guys, shout out your favorite flowers. Please shout out your favorite colors. We're literally going to be using all of this to create the world. So I really appreciate you guys engaging, commenting. And if you're watching this in the future, please feel free to comment as well. Uh, it's great to see your comments. You can also watch the live comment replay. And uh, yeah, so... There we go. Text gizmo has been linked in and it is time to test this out. But wait, maybe before we test this out, I will tell you a little bit about what we've done to get here. So the first thing we did is we went on a tour of some awesome worlds. And so nobody clicked the flowers, KO, that means you and Galactic Victoria, no flower clicking. We're going to go to our uh, worlds tab. Oh, she's about to click the flower. Oh, you, you are devil. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Oh my gosh. I am like half expecting she's going to like try to one up me on the flower leaderboard here. Um, so now what we're going to do is search for the first world that we visited, which was um, Ramen Boss. And if you haven't been to Ramen Boss, I highly encourage you to check it out. It is a lot of fun. It's one of the OG worlds. Um, it's a four person mini game, very clicky style um, phone, but it's 3D and it's just so much fun. I highly encourage you to check it out. You build ramen, you upgrade, you buy, um, you build things. It's, it's a very, very awesome game. And because of that, I've always been inspired by it. And uh, <laughs> you guys are so funny. Thank you, D. Thank you, Clickbait Nate. Too funny. So great to have you. Um, so anyway, I love Ramen Boss, and it's very inspiring. And so it inspired me to build a world about a year ago called Pickles IO. And so I know we visited all these worlds, and I'm feeling super embarrassed because I did this whole talk, but no one was listening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've never scheduled a live stream, so I didn't know you could like hit the go live button because um, in the past, whenever I hit the stream button, it just goes live and I have no control. I just am like, yo, what's up? Okay, so here's Pickles IO. And Pickles IO was a very um, inspired game where you would grow cucumbers and then you'd have to chop off the ends and you put them in jars and you had to make pickles right and then you'd sell the pickles and you had to go to the farmer's market to buy resources and then you could sell them at the farmer's market and it was just this really cool game i never finished it but i loved working on it and it was a great experience um, to continue evolving my skills and then recently about a month ago i came back to this idea with another idea this was before the competition called shipwreck beach and shipwreck beach is where you would lounge around on the beach in a coconut no but uh, that was a pretty funny picture of uh of um ukulele man and so what you would do is you chop down trees you would be able to um so here you can see a kind of a view of it, which is pretty cool. Um, you could also cook things on the fire, go fishing, and your goal was to repair the boat so that you could sail away. And it was just a lot of fun, um, very cool little world. And so after that, Galactic Victoria here uh, reached out and was like, hey, I'm interested in building a uh, cookie clicker. And so 
uh, I was like, I've kind of been working on a similar idea for a long time. And we were like flower picker, right? So it's kind of spring jammy. So it seemed like a great idea. But, oh, the world's not started. You couldn't grab this if you wanted to. That's too funny. So anyway, we've, <laughs> in the last few minutes, we've just built this leaderboard. We built this very basic mechanic. And we're going to go ahead and hit play world. So the three of us are going to fight over these three flowers. So I'm going to try not to punch my keyboard. And three, two, one, and go. OK. No, y'all. And so here you can see that it's kind of a race to get the flowers as soon as they appear. And no, <laughs> I don't know where that one in the center went. We've kind of glitched it out. So I'm going to have to figure out how that broke. But as you can see, our leaderboards are going crazy here. KO's in the lead. And this is the start of Flower Picker, right? So you can imagine one day these numbers will get to the point where it's like a million people uh, or a million flowers, excuse me. And yeah, you can sniff. Wait, how did you grab that? You're not supposed to, be able to grab that. <laughs> uh, so that's so funny. It's supposed to force release. But yeah, so, oh my gosh. It is really quite addicting. So you get this music, you get this visual effect, you get the little text gizmo, and it's just constantly popping, engaging, a lot of fun. And so what I want to do is walk you through this script. So we started by importing the essentials bundle. We deleted everything we didn't need. And so that got us down to about 40% object capacity. And so that gives us quite a bit to work with. We're going to delete quite a bit here and there, but we thought we might use some of this stuff. And um, what we started with was the object return script because this flower already had an object return script on it and this, this object needed to return. So we started with the object return and then we came over to um, here, du here's the duplicated copy. And you can see we modified the return script to be extremely simple. So we set, when world is started, set the origin position, origin rotation, that was already there. And then we added inside the return, set visibility self to true, set collidability of self to true. And this is all from the original return script. We did delete the when object is grabbed and when object is released, and we replaced it with when object is grabbed. We're setting the current picks to be the user's persistent variable flower picked to plus value, which is how much the flower is worth, which is a number variable. And then we set flowers picked to current picks, set top pickers for that player to the current picks. So this sets the leaderboard score. Then we move the sound effect and visual effect and text all to the position of the flower. We then display a plus symbol plus the value on the text object. We play a sound, play a visual effect, and then force release the flower. We then set visibility to false, set collidability to false, and then send return to self after a delay of one second. And so that then causes the object to return. And um, there you go. That's, that's basically the basis of our script. So if you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Happy to answer. You can see this one did not receive the return event for some reason, which is quite interesting. Or it did receive the return event, but it didn't become visible. I'm not sure how that happened. So this one seems to run into a bug and I, I'm doubting it's gonna be on the server. Um, so uncertain about what could have caused that, but that's okay. I have an idea of a way that we might be able to fix it. It might also only have happened in build mode just because there's a lot more things running in build mode. Um, but because we're wanting this to be extremely action packed, what I'm thinking of doing is setting simulation to false. By setting simulation to false, it also acts as a force release, just like this force release. And if I duplicate it and drag it down here into the return script, we can set it back to true. And this should confirm for certain that these flowers are getting um, released from the player's hand and returned. So stop, reset, and play. All right, here we go. So you can see that. Very nice. And so we are, our goal here is right now to just glitch this out. Like we just want this to fail. <laughs> um, so far, no problems. This is great. There's a little bit of server lag you can experience there. There isn't really a great way to get around the server lag. I mean, you'd have to have one flower patch per person, which removes the whole like, oh, we're fighting for flowers, right? Which, which is a huge part of this game is you want to fight for flowers. So you can imagine this starts with one flower and you have to continuously grab, wait, grab, wait, and then you can buy a second flower and then you can buy upgrades for each of those flowers. And so this is really, and imagining this gets bigger and bigger and then maybe there becomes like a little bees nest that you like you're cultivating bees that come over to your flowers and help fertilize which maybe increases the value or increases the respawn speed and so this just becomes a very 
very clicky, clicky bait like game. Well, click not clickbait, but like um, you know, like your phone clicker game. So pretty addicting, fun. Should allow you to socialize with people. You should be able to talk when you're working, you know, playing this game. And I think that's kind of <laughs> it's gonna sound terrible, but I've been doing this for an hour and uh, 15 minutes already. So I've actually pretty much come to the end of where I wanted to get today. But um, I'm gonna take some questions right now. So please feel free to ask. And um, let me see what D is saying. D says, I remember hearing about that in a video nights a while ago. <laughs> Your office, that's right. Oh, that's so funny. Um, so the quick notes there is, yes, Pickles Eye was supposed to come out a long time ago. It just didn't, been busy. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> for those who don't know, last year we produced over... I want to say 600 videos. It was a lot of videos. We created so many tutorials. It's kind of insane, but um, hope you guys have been enjoying them and they've been helping you guys get started. And then my office is a place inside of the uh, shipwreck world. And so I think what I might want to do here is actually take you guys on a quick tour of the shipwreck world and um, just kind of show you a couple quick things there. And in the Pickles IO world, maybe start in Ramen Boss again. <laughs> that explains so much. Like I'm so, I was so wondering what was going on. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the end of it. So happy to take any questions before we leave here. Just gonna wait a couple seconds there. If you guys have any questions about leaderboards, um, you know, tracking score, moving objects, anything of that nature, happy to answer them at this time. Cool. So I guess I will show just for the sake of showing it here in the script panel under settings, you can see this is where you can create player persistent variables and you can also create leaderboards. So very cool. I also found today that there's a three dot icon. No idea. This allows you to reset and edit variables. That's like brand new. That must've come out today because I've never seen it before. So that was crazy. And uh, yeah, so definitely check that out. And that flower didn't return. Oh, because I went into build mode. I wonder if that's what happened earlier. Okay, cool beans. Okay, so we're going to head to starting with Ramen Boss. So if you're in VR right now, feel free to join on me. And I'm going to show kind of like where this inspiration started. And then we'll take a quick journey through the worlds. And uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Okay, are you coming? Okay, are you alive? Ko is not alive. Ko has died. I don't know where she went. <laughs> oh, she went to get water. I could use some water. <laughs> oh man, I'm just remembering this whole last hour of me talking to myself, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys weren't here for that. That's so sad. I went and did a not a sponsor. Water, not a sponsor. But drink it anyway. Hmm. <laughs> So good. <clears throat> so very good. Okay, so welcome to Ramen Boss. This is one of my favorite worlds. And in here, you basically make ramen. So I'm going to start and just be kind of like a boss. I literally am the bossiest boss of ramen. Look at this. This is probably the craziest thing you've ever seen. Woo! Yeah, that's right. I've already chopped up 12 of these. Nice. Okay, 13. That's a good number. I'm like, whoo, the ramen boss. Carry you on your way. Gonna need some support here. 12 and 13, there we go. And last one. And so this is just, you know, it's a lot of fun, especially when you get more people in here and you're all working a specific task. You get one person on each of these little podiums. It is one of my favorites, honestly. It's a great one-off game too, so if you haven't played it, I encourage you to come check it out. Um, I've only played it like four times so far in the last year and a half, but you know, that's still quite a bit. Then you deliver the ramen here. So you cook the ramen up, you deliver it to the customer. And once again, you're creating this really, this cool motion. Cool motion. Hey gamer, welcome. <laughs> so it's this really addictive motion of, oh my gosh, I made ramen. Oh my gosh, I got $20. Hey. Would you like to help us make some ramen? Ramen boost. Oh yes, ramen boost. Oh right, you oh, can't wait. hear me because there's that delay. Haha, yeah. <laughs> silly. Silly me. Woo, here we go. Oh no, we're out. We're out. Got one. Got one. Okay. One more ramen. 
And so here's what's really cool is now that we've got all this money, we can spend it. So look at all these things we can buy. We can buy, you know, dining That's tables, right. roofs, walls, tables. We can upgrade the, the price of our um, ramen. We can also buy chefs. $500 for a chef. Man, that's so expensive. Yeah, we're gonna need um, some more of this. I need some more of this. <laughs> Woo. I'm pretty fast. Okay, seven. Here we go. Oh, yeah, no, I'm crazy. Just give me one knife in the kitchen. It's insane. This, this is not what it looks like. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, there we go. There's eight. And now back to cooking. Woo. Oh, I'm about to punch things. I'm not sure what I'm looking at in the real world. It's so weird. How do I organize myself? Where's my boundary? <laughs> Ow. I'm trying not to punch the computer. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't step back from the computer because my boundary is so small today. Oh no, we're out. We're out again. We've got 440. Like okay. Kale, we need your help. Oh. There we go. Give you a couple of those. And now we're almost to buying our first automation. And this is the part that really makes it so much more fun, right? At the moment you can buy this first chef and the process gets automated. And so I can't wait to add this to Flower Picker. I think that's gonna make it so much more fun when you're able to like automate each of those flower grabs and you get maybe a flower picking robot or a flower picking dog. Maybe there can be all sorts of different things, but it's just so cool. Oh, I can't go back there to see him. But then we can buy these upgrades and stuff, which is gonna be great. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna help. Let them do that. This, this time I don't break my computer. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Want to get this to 50. There we go. Feels good at 50. Here we go. Whew. Oh no! It's down to 49. What's up with that? He's going too slow though. Because I can keep up with him. Maybe. Come on. Come on. I want to get these both to 50. Oh wait, we're at another 500. We can buy another chef. Boom! Now we got two chefs. Now we've doubled our passive income. And with that, I think we should increase the price of our stuff. Because now they'll sell for slightly more, which is just going to be fabulous. 280. We're going to increase spicy sausage. Yes. Now we're on our way. I want to see what this next one sells for. 260 went to 300. Nice. Woo. Gamer, you got a lot of work to do. We got 50 of these ramens ready. <laughs> All right, and 300. There we go. We've added eggs. Oh, what? Did we just find a hack? Oh my gosh! Amazing. The instant money hack. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. Did we use it all? Oh, no, we didn't use it all. <laughs> okay. So if you're in Ramen Boss, this is how you can hack it. And uh, now you know. And so with that, we can buy a couple more chefs. Yeah! Max out the chef, max out the price of our ramen. Now we're automatically earning the most amount of money. And we can buy pretty much everything. We can buy signage, tables. We'll grab some. Look at that. We got tables. We need more money. 1800 come on let's go let's go let's go is that a bug? i mean is that a bug that's a good question i don't know 2000 there we go what are we buying what are we buying you guys what are you saying whatever you comment first first person to comment that's what we're buying we got walls ceiling tables or signage let's see what you say Oh, that guy. 
in the background. He wants something. Wait, did we buy ceilings? I bought ceilings on accident. I'm sorry, guys. My arms hit it. <laughs> what would you guys like? Seriously. Whatever you comment, we'll buy. And we got walls left. We got tables. We got signage. It's like, oh, that's new. That looks nice. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do this button. Give us some more money while we wait for you guys to comment what you want. First person, you got this. I'm very curious if that's what it... I don't think it's supposed to look like that. That seems like a visual error. <laughs> this is so hysterical. <laughs> Can't believe that works. Reach. Push. My arms are all the way spread apart, but it works. Whee! <laughs> thanks, thanks, Victoria. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Now we're coming over here. Let's see. We got table, ceilings. Hmm, I think I want to buy walls. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I wonder what it would look like if we bought the, the ceilings without walls and stuff. Wait, without a bug. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. I've got to try this. Okay, so if you line your um, circles up on one of these. So if you line the circles up, you can get oh, it. No. <laughs> oh, no. There it is. Yay, look at that. So, uh... Look at that! Party tricks! Or should I say, kitchen <laughs> tricks! Heck yeah! Doing this, That's what I'm like... talking about. Okay, Lindsay says walls. Like, did we buy walls already? Yeah, we did. Good job. Good job. You voted for the right thing. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Okay, I'm going 250. I'm literally just holding my hand here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that in the real world, but it's just holding it perfectly. Very nice. Okay, I'm running around to go get KOs. Come on, KO. Yeah, maybe I won't look too much at it in case photosensitive viewers. But this is like, what do you call a blender? It's like a blender. Yeah. Okay, gamer, do you want to help me with the uh, free ramen? <laughs> wow, well, we're such good chefs. <laughs> we are. <laughs> We're such good chefs. I basically just blend my, my vegetables. Okay, gamer, you wanna help me with this? I wanna hold this here. And right there, I gotta reach. Whew. Okay, well, no help from gamer, probably because he can't hear me, but that's okay. We're going to buy the last couple things here. Hey! That's how we do it! We've bought everything. We've got loads of customers. They're all eating their ramen. Happy little customers. And it's so much fun, right? Like, this is amazing. And then you got this little sign where you can you now, like, play with these little, you know, things and make a little sign that you can... Ah, I just love this world. Honestly, it's so inspiring. It's so simple. And I am looking forward to making a flower-based game that will be very similar to this. So, very, very cool. And uh, thank you. Thank you, Theo. Fini. I'm sorry if I butchered that, but I appreciate you coming to the live stream and hanging out. So now that we've uh, played some Ramen Boss, we're going to go check out the next inspirational piece from this. And that is the world Pickles IO. So when I played this, I was so inspired I built this world called Pickles IO. I'm going to invite our friends as collaborators so they can come hang out. Let's see. Do, do, do nearby invite as a tester all right gamer we're heading to pickles io editing worlds you'll go ahead and test i'll see you there and if you guys want to hang out you know come feel free to join hey wheels up nice to have you sweet yeah sorry this started an hour late i had no idea i had to hit the button to start the live stream so i just talked to myself for like an hour it was embarrassing but um glad we got through that embarrassment won't happen again you know i was trying to do the thing where we like scheduled it and people could like plan totally messed that up totally messed that up it was pretty hysterical but um yeah all right preparing for visitors do do do, do. let's drink some water shall we Hmm, that's a little bit farther out of the way. Dangerous water. It's dangerous. I'm gonna knock stuff over to get to that water. 
<laughs> All right, welcome. It looks like someone's already here. Kao's here. Oh, thank you, Kao. She, she's broken her neck because she was giving me water. Thank you. Oh. Oh, we have cats. Cats knock over everything, don't they? Wouldn't that be terrible? Life stream just crashes, computers covered in water. Cats, I tell you. Are they in here? No, I don't think so. But they know how to get in here. Yeah, you're the first one in. So you're playing the first round. Go ahead and uh, get started. Oh, wait, I need to get in there. Wait, um, can you can you let me in? <laughs> I can't get in. It's sessions in progress. So I can't play. It was a, a one player game, right? So she had to be there. Go ahead and hit save and log out. You went to the market. You're way over there. So there's a little market over there that you can go to. There's these um, flying cars that are really cool. You've also got the little bullet train out there, which is really cool. And uh, when Kayo gets back, I can go log in. So here we go, loading my login. It saves my progress. So you can see last time I was here at 140 coins, fertilizer, et cetera. And so I can continue playing. I can harvest these cucumbers. And it's just very cool to be able to save your progress and be able to come over here where you can then chop the cucumber. Boop. And then I think you throw it. I'm, I actually don't know what you're supposed to do with the cucumber. <laughs> did it work? Did, did you put it in the jar and it works? Does it, do, does it do something? I don't think it works. I feel like it's broken. There's definitely some amount of this that is probably broken since it was originally made. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Anyway, but you get the idea. It was this really cool thing. You can see that the... Uh, cucumbers grow back in and that's like one of my favorite parts of this entire thing is just the growth process and watching these things regrow and then in the meantime you have to like oh auto selling is on you can go to the market and so you come over here where you can buy all these different items so you can see how much do they cost oh this costs one coin and then you can buy x number of things um <laughs> little pieces of dirt you can play with you're like oh yes this is the fertilizer i wanted i mean it's fertilizer you're not playing with dirt okay you guys get the joke um but over here we had this really cool sample where you could test the vinegar so you could like pour out a little glass of vinegar <laughs> so you know some fun stuff in here and uh was having a lot of fun with this one there was going to be a space that you could buy to uh, sell your cucumbers and it was just a fun little idea maybe one day i will come back to this but for now I um, wanted to work on something that was a little more collaborative. And so Gamer has found his way in. Go ahead and give it a go, Gamer. Yeah, try it out. <laughs> and so Gamer's gonna go ahead and try harvesting some cucumbers. And yeah, you can see it's all over here and this is very cool. And I love the design here, the fresh pickles and uh, everything's really cool. So with that out of the way, we're gonna go take a look at another awesome world that I was working on a month ago. And this is called Shipwreck Beach. And I'll also add you gamer as a tester. If you're not already on as a tester, actually, let me see. Do, 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 do. Oh, you're not a tester. Invite as tester. All right. And we're going to go head on over here. Galactic Victoria, if you're still hanging out, you're welcome to come join us there. I think we have space. There's three, four of us. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Let's see what everybody's saying. This is awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Appreciate you guys coming and hanging out and checking this stuff out. It's It's been um, a long journey learning and uh, I, I've met a lot of you guys and I just want to continue repeating that it took me literally two months to learn my first script. And um, you know, this, this stuff didn't come like naturally. It was like a huge learning curve to get over. And once I got through and started understanding the fundamentals, it started coming together and I started learning these pieces. And then the more you learn, the more it starts to come together. So I just encourage you to take baby steps. It's been a year and a half of me literally dedicating everything I have to learning this stuff. So I just, I don't, uh, I would say don't expect yourself to learn it overnight. And don't think that I like went to school for this because I didn't. Um, it just took a lot of practice, trial and error, a lot of failing, <laughs> seriously, a lot of failing. Um, so encourage you guys to keep trying. So welcome to Shipwreck Beach. This place is a lot of fun. I can't wait to continue working on it. I'm probably coming out this summer. <laughs> probably won't. Like in a year, I'll be like, yeah, so the thing I started like a year ago and it's supposed to be this cool beach, but then work on the way because, you know, I'm busy. Uh, so welcome to Shipwreck Beach. There's a little uh, shark out there, which is pretty cool. Got some cool clouds. Love these inspired by Victor Riddle's clouds. You can come up the beach. Hey, welcome gamer. Welcome KO. I think and over here, we've got a little net so we can go fishing. So if you throw that out, 
it lands, and then it'll... Hey, Galactic Victoria made it! Nice! And we've got this crab, and we can continue fishing, and it'll bring in some fish, and then once we're done, we can bring it over here to cook up our food. And what my favorite part is this, very Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild inspired, where you got the little music at the end, and then you can eat it. And oh my gosh, look at all this fish we pulled in. We pulled in a giant lobster. This is a beautiful design by one of our collaborators here. We put the fish on, put the lobster on, and they'll play their music. So nice. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Oh, and they've caught some fish and stuff. So that's nice over there. We've got this uh, hatchet that you can use for chopping down trees. It takes three hits. One, two, three. And then you get these planks. And you'll find there's little areas like this where you can put them in. And you start collecting. And so you can see we're ten, two out of 10. And so um, I will give this to Gamer or Victoria if you guys want to chop down some trees here. I'd like to grab that from you thank you and uh so here's this axe if you want to chop down the trees it's right here and i'm going to show you guys what else we can do which is if we go over to this um, palm tree we can actually cut off the fronds and so we're going to just uh, slice there we go and here we've picked out a frond and we can go put that on uh, into our barrel and now we have collected one or two. Apparently that was two. Uh, so <laughs> as we continue collecting, we're able to finish these little items. And oh, it takes three hits. That's why I got it. I was like trying to figure it out. So yeah, we've got one of these and now we can put that in here. And once we complete it, it'll actually build something for us. And so the long-term goal is to be able to rebuild this shipwreck, right? So you need to collect 100 rations, 200 planks, 50 grass, 50 coal, and then you can escape the island, which is pretty cool. And uh... <laughs> yes, chop down the tree, chop it down. Hit right here, three hits, nice, nice, fantastic. And so gamer's gonna grab that, hopefully, and put that into here. Yes, sweet. So he's figured that out. He's gonna try and chop it down, but you can't chop it down until it regrows. And uh, I'm gonna come over here and grab another frond. Hey, there we go. And there's some other things you can do with this, right? So like, if you come over here, you can actually grab some grass. And as it turns out, the grass and fronds are so similar, they actually both count towards the um, same counts. So because these are very similar types, you can actually use this as, oh, that counts as one versus this counts as two. Oh no, that only counted as one. Interesting, huh? I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> I have to revisit the script. It's too funny. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep going. Do, 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 do. We're almost there. And then we've got this little island. Lots of little things to do on the island. I can't wait to show you the top of this. Oh, Kao's got some berries. Hey, Kao. And so, yeah, you know, it's another game where there's a lot of little activities. A lot of people can come together to work on building different things and get reaching these goals, right? And eventually we'll have some like bees so you can collect some honey and we want to add stamina so that you can like become slower if you don't eat food on a regular basis and you use up stamina based off of how far you walk. So you want to kind of like keep your movements relatively uh, simple. <sighs> and I'm so close. I'm like, but that's the thing that's so addicting about these games is you get, oh, and I went to build mode. Oops. <laughs> um, that's so addicting about these games is you get closer and closer to your goal. And once you reach your goal, it's like this huge reward. And so there we go. We're only one frond away. I'm like so close. This is it. This is the last one. And so that's, you know, like, like I said, it's just this huge moment where you're like, I've worked so hard for this. And now I'm running as fast as I can to make it to the big wooden can. Look at that. We did it! We built our first item on the beach. And so you can see we built this little like sleeping area. As so you can imagine, there might be like a bonus here. Like you might recharge faster. You can like respawn your stamina even if you don't have to eat. And so these like really cool things that you can build. And so we've got the boat and D will point out my office is up there. It's one of the hardest things to build on the beach because um, you have to walk so far. We're gonna grab these coconuts and we're gonna travel up and get some water. So if you're thirsty, which will be a thing in here, See, there's some berries and some other little cool plants. And I love the way that we've used some of the like pieces of the essentials bundle in here. And so this is going to be my office if you build it. Here you can see all times distance jumps to see who's jumped the furthest. And here we're going to jump. Woo! Splash. And 
Here, if we put our coconut in the waterfall, you'll see it fills up with water. We can then drink it. So you gotta get your uh, clean water. And then there's of course a hidden place behind the cave. There's also a hidden cave over through here. Lots of cool hidden little areas for you to check out. I'm stuck. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, he got stuck. Where is he? Okay, maybe I should find him. <laughs> it's too funny. Uh, da, da. There's a secret area here you can get stuck in, but um, there is a way out. So if you duck down here, then you jump up here, jump over here, slide over here, then jump around the corner. Are we going to find him? So then you can jump off the edge, but I don't think he's stuck here. So, nope, he didn't get stuck here. Let's see, where did he get stuck? Oh, no, he's not stuck anymore. There he is. I don't know where you were, but you are no longer stuck. You are safe, kid. <laughs> okay, and then we have these berries here that I haven't yet made edible, but that would be a thing I'd like to do. Um, I adjusted the edible script here, so it required cooking, and so that's kind of that. But anyway, so um, this was just a really cool world to be able to build, and you know, look, I found a frond just lying on the ground, and it's just such an inspiring thing. And then the spring jam came along, and I wanted to do something with flowers, so I'm doing the flower thing, and that's totally okay. And uh, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, I'm going to take us back into the flower picker world. So I'll show you guys what we're working on there now that we have a few more people hanging out. And uh, we've got our little cooked food that we can now eat. If you didn't see this, this is, I just really love the way that works. When you throw it, it gets wider. And if it's not in the water, it actually can't catch fish. So it has to land flat in the water, which is kind of a really neat uh, script I wrote. <laughs> I wrote a lot of cool scripts, I think. <laughs> Some of them are a little more complex, like that one. But uh, here we can now cook our, our food. And then we can also um, put it over here, and that'll count as a ration. And uh, yeah, so anyway, Shipwreck Beach. Hey! <laughs> so now we're going to head to Flower Picker. And I'm just going to show you guys what we're working on over there. And so this is going to be my entry and submission to the Spring Jam. But just kind of pointing this out, by making this a live stream, I may have disqualified myself. So I don't recommend live streaming your builds, uh, specifically if it's for the uh, Jam. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Make your office, he says. Make your office. <laughs> hey, Shanice. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. And uh, so let's see. The flower picker world. It is a world where you do addictive flower picking. And so I'll show you guys that real quick. I'll uh, show you the script, answer any questions you have about it. But again, um, I'm going to submit this. I really hope I don't get disqualified because my goal here isn't to, I don't know, break some rule, excuse me, or anything. My goal is really just to help you guys, show you guys my thought process, um, answer any questions, show you some cool techniques to make things that are really simple and fun. And so here we are in Flower Picker. And you'll see Flower Picker has a little leaderboard. It has three flowers currently, but we're eventually gonna start it with just one flower. And so when you spawn in, you only have one flower and you have to pick the flower. And the, every time you pick it, you get plus one flower. And then over here, you can see your total flowers. And then you can like buy additional flowers and then you'll have like three flowers. And now you're like, oh my gosh, it's flower mania. And then there's like a point where you're like buying fertilizer and you're buying all these things also. Quick note, does anybody notice that this is the top of one of our jars over here? It's just made made really large. Oh, hey, shout out to the two people hanging out at the essentials bundle. Maybe we should go stop by and say hello. Um, yeah, but anyway, it's the top of this guy, which is super cool. Uh, so like these things, I mean, you don't have to use them as pots. You can do whatever you want with them, which is, I just think super cool. I'm very, I like, I like seeing innovative uses for assets. I think it's just a lot of fun. Kay was trying to make it to the top. Not going to happen, not on my watch. And so then now you get this like competing game where it's like, oh my gosh, who's going to grab the flower first, right? So it's like, oh my goodness. And so all of a sudden it's this very intense flower picking game. But then you're like, wait, now I've got more flowers. I'm going to go buy another flower for the garden. And um, I don't know why that's not working. This one. See, the thing is, it's so intense, it can break like this, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's so sad. I'm going to have to test this in a, like, a unlisted published world to see if it's actually a bug. Like, if it's a, if it's a, like, if it affects the published world. Sometimes when you publish a world, it doesn't actually affect the published world. It only affects the unpublished world uh, in, in edit mode, and so I'm hoping that's the case for this and that this is just like some sort of weird server lag in edit mode. 
I love this. I'm so addicted already. <laughs> like, and I'm at 153 picks. Like, that's insane. Um, so you can already imagine this is literally going to get into the millions. Like, it's going to be some ridiculous numbers. And so there's good, we can make up to three leaderboards. So if you haven't seen the leaderboard section under settings, you can make up to three leaderboards. Why it shows jump distance and last jump, which is from the previous world we were in, I don't know. Uh, but you can see the player scores are correct. Persistent player variables are flowers picks. Uh, but anyway, you can have up to three world leaderboards. And uh, yeah, cool beans. So thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. If you have any questions, I'm going to answer them right now. And let's see, you can do it says weeks. If you win, you don't have to give me nothing and plus gamer 898. What? I'm. <laughs> I don't understand, <laughs> but that's okay. You guys, thank you again so much for coming and stopping by the live stream. I do apologize that I didn't get to show you the whole tutorial that I wanted to show you because I accidentally started the live stream wrong, but I will do better next time. Um, if you guys like live streams and you're watching this later, please definitely comment down below and let us know so we can do more of these, schedule them. Um, I really in enjoying the format, getting to talk with you guys, invite you to hang out afterwards. Um, I think I'm going to just go and relax tonight. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know what I wanted to test now that we're back here? Uh, so the the painting cans, you guys remember the painting cans from the last live stream? Um, they stopped working when we published the world. And so they don't work, as you can see here. The painting mechanic still works. We went into the, <laughs> this is so weird, right? So tr check this out. If we just open the properties panel of this object, it works. Like open that and now she's gonna touch it. I haven't done anything else. Let's close those. And what? Is the world not started? Stop. No, it is, stop. Fly, try again. What? What? Wait a second. I did, yeah. So I just... She's like telling me what to do. This is great. Um, I actually wanted to try hitting animated and see if that worked. It doesn't seem to be working. It's so weird. It's not working. I'm not sure why it's not working. Totally should be working. We might have to rethink this because it works in build mode. So what I, what I found worked last time I did this. Oh, you know what I did? You know what I did? I zoomed into the object. <clears throat> Wait, I've got an idea. I got an idea, Kyo. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna hit reset, stop, and play. And <clears throat> so what I did last time when I came in, oh no, that worked without zooming in. This one's not working though. So when I went to the attributes page of this, it started working, which is bizarre. Well, yeah, but that doesn't work for publishing because once it's published, it still doesn't work. So I'm wondering what if the collisions not happening. And so what if I need to tag, what if I make this grouping do collision events from objects tagged can. So we do that and then on the, well, first of all, let's test it. Cause I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll just be the answer. Come on. Um, yeah, you can see that doesn't work just like that. So what I think we need to do is then go to the brush tip and on world start, we will listen to events. So we'll go and say, listen to events, which allows us to receive all of the events off the parent object. So we'll create a new variable called parent. So it's an object variable. It's gonna be called parent. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and then open up properties panel of this one, zoom in, open the properties panels of the tip, zoom out, and then reference the grouping out here as the parent and zoom, close, close, and then hit stop, reset, and play. Wish us luck, here goes. So, duh, that didn't work. Man, I thought that might work. The black one's still working, but the rest of them didn't work. Yeah, I don't know how to solve this bug. I'm gonna have to come back to it. I think what we might end up doing is using triggers above each of these. That is a pain in the neck to do, but or maybe putting a trigger. We might be able to put a trigger on the tip of this can. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back to it. Okay, I was like going through each of them. This isn't even the, the master bundle. So no need to uh, spend any time on that. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna st just go ahead and delete those anyway. Yeah, I'll go back to the master bundle and fix it. So unfortunately we haven't, um, 
published this live to the bundles yet. I definitely want to fix that bug beforehand. <clears throat> I'm watching it now. Hey, thank you guys so much for coming. Thanks for another... Thank... I'm sorry. It's hard to read through the nose hole. <laughs> Wheels up. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, I love the buys. Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks again so much. I'll see you in Horizon. I'm going to go rest my eyes, get some sleep, get back to work tomorrow. And hopefully um, tomorrow is Wednesday. So as you are probably well aware, we do live stream or we um, have the events. Love the bounce house. Thanks, Shanice. Appreciate that. I love the bounce house too. It's so much fun. Um, yeah, so we have the Wednesday Tours event. It starts at 5 p.m. Pacific time. You can hang out with us in person at the World Tours World. Um, we're going to have a couple instances of that. You can hang out with Oculus, KO, myself. Probably everybody you saw in the stream tonight will be there, I hope. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much again. I will see you in Horizon. Bye! <laughs>